everyone, my name is Natasha Sella, and I help you to be completely healthy in the mind, body, and spirit so you guys can heal your inner child mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and financially. Guys, I'm so happy to have you guys here. Guys, I have lost 69 pounds, and I'm going to show you guys how I did it throughout my channel. So you guys want to go ahead and click that subscription bell right now so you guys don't miss a beat because I give it all away for free. Guys, if you want to stay personally connected to me, go ahead and click that email subscription and go ahead and subscribe. Guys, today we are going to talk about what to do when you don't really feel supported within your community or with your friends, with your family, because this has been something that I have been looking for um, in regards to content wise on YouTube, social media, and I have never been supported throughout my journey. And I want to go ahead and show you guys my tips on how I, I overcame this dilemma. And I hope this video helps you. So you wanna go ahead and stay tuned. guys. Let's go ahead and just jump right into in this video. What does it mean to be supported? Supported means that this other person sees a vision that you tell them when you communicate exactly what you the outcome is. As Neville Goddard says, you know, you think and live in the end. So when I went to Spain, I I didn't think about anything else. I was like, I was already in Spain. Like, like I was like, okay, yeah, whatever, I don't care, I'm in Spain. Like I'm going to Spain. Like I don't care. Like I don't care about this job. Like I'm I'm in Spain. Like like I'm in Spain. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you get older and you're thinking about like, okay, well I want to be retired by a certain age, and you're working a nine to five, and you think about all these like the crappiest jobs that you hated, things kind of get different. So then you start telling people your plans, right? And then you start then you realize they're also going through it, and they don't like their life. Then you start realizing you have it a lot better than they do. Then what happens? They start not to support you. They start to envy you. They start to envy you. They start to give you jealousy. So what happens? They don't support you. Matter of fact, when I first started my business, no one supported me. I'm in a sorority with 500 of my sorority sisters. And not one supported me. Yeah, and I paid for that. I paid dues. Isn't that crazy? Not one of them shared any of my content. But it was a blonde, you know? Yeah. So, forgiveness is a huge concept, ladies. And if you do not forgive, it will haunt you. It will marinate. And it is something that it will keep on... I don't, I don't want to say blocking. But it will go ahead and just be in your mind. So you need to go ahead and first forgive yourself. You don't necessarily need to forgive the other people. You can just sit there and say, wow, you have some, because I feel like why people don't support other people is because of this brand ideology in America, what we have. Everyone in America, what I've noticed, especially with TikTok, Instagram, and like, like, like I'm gonna give you an example, like C4, Tito's Vodka, um, all these stuff or like the NFL it's very a brand theme corporation so if you don't fit the brand you are not going to get in <laughs> and the brand is usually 5'7 blonde and that kind of goes in line with my sorority experience so and unfortunately in America society like the bigger large place society which usually gets all the attention in media is that narrative of beauty, which is really why I started my YouTube channel. Because I wanted people who look different, who were within the LGBT community and who who were just just different, you know, like just different, who are spiritually and conscious aware, like consciously aware, who so badly wanted to be in those communities but were always like kicked out. I wanted them to have a channel of support. So this is my somewhere guys just so st stick with me here and you start realizing that true support is not fighting not trying to prove yourself um let's just like not trying to prove yourself this is a big one it can even go with your parents not trying to prove yourself you're already worthy like you're already in demand you know you're already in demand because you are you and you are love you and i feel like in this society that 
we don't place enough emphasis on the human body, the human experience. And um, I feel like I've only been lucky, like this lucky in my life, because I, there's been months I have, no, I have no income coming in. Because I've always been someone who I always wanted to support others. And if you're gonna get anything from this video is that when someone puts themselves out there, even it could be pageants, it can be, for example, for me, when I wanted to be Miss, Miss Universe, and I started realizing I didn't know my body was different until I was politely told. Um, it would have been so nice to receive the support from my own Latin community, but not to receive that support was very, um, it, it becomes detrimental to, you know, you're like, why not me? You think, you start thinking to yourself, is it because I look different? Is it because I'm not Miss Universe? Is it because I'm like not 5'7 and like a size 8? Or a 5'7 or like a size 3? And then you, then it gets into your mind like, oh, I guess I have to work out harder. Or I guess I have to eat more, like eat less. or And that is the mentality. Those thoughts are not you. And in my last video, I told you told you and I taught you guys how what to deal with not to be liked you can't let people control you when you let people control you it's not your life anymore so when you don't have your support from others those are those are the only support that you need is from the universe the tree the like I'm literally looking at this huge tree right now or this like fern God, I wish I knew what it, called, what it was called. I don't even know what it's called, what the trees are called. But the tree doesn't need support, it just grows. The flowers don't need any support, it just grows. Van Gogh, didn't, Van Gogh, when he was painting, he didn't need anyone's support, he just painted. The creation of life just came out of him. So what is this, what, what am I trying to tell you, my friends? The only support that you need is the support as the creation of life from you. You thinking positive thoughts is a good place to begin. Thinking positive thoughts of how it feels when you have it, of feeling and embodying it. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you an example. Like I was standing, like doing my tabling because sometimes I table my products called the peppermint bar. Go ahead and check it out down below. It's how I get this beautiful curly hair and it gives you volume, shine, and it helps your hair grow. And sexy even my little white girls can uh, try it out it's so nice and and I was just thinking I was like oh, I wonder how it's gonna be a sale like like selling you know my product and, and like I wonder how it's gonna be swipe I wonder if the swipe feature will work and um, yeah so I started thinking like that and then I got a sale like I just started thinking of those thoughts of how it would be what it would feel like and then the universe supported me there. When you start thinking of the things that you want and you start thinking about like how it feels like, it's just, it's a different form of energy. But you really do have to acknowledge the fact that people are not gonna support you simply because of the fact that you disturb their demons. You disturb their demons. And then you need to start asking yourself, what are you gonna do when you reach that level of support, will you go ahead and support them? You don't need to be nice to everybody, but you do need to be respectful. And I think that is something that I personally need to absolutely implement in my life, always. And I think that's something that a lot of people in the country need to implement too. So go ahead and ask yourself, like, when you are six, if you are successful tomorrow and everything were to hit right now, how will you deal with the people who do not support? you because success hits differently when people do not do those people that you ask for support do not believe in you success hits differently when those people who did not believe in you do not support you so I think trusting that there's a universe and a substance field that is alive that wants to support you is the next thing on your journey that that is the next development phase and that's where I'm at now. I think being an entrepreneur and carving my own way, um, that's also a trust exercise for myself, but it's, you know, I think identifying what you want and not focusing on the how is a huge trust exercise. But just repeating the affirmation, I fully support and align to the things 
I want to produce and experience in my life is a good one. And letting go of those poverty thoughts and those resistant thoughts and not even acknowledging that poverty even exists. And you're in like, I know that it's gonna, if you feel, if you know, you would know. Like poverty does not exist in your in your third dimension, none of that. It, it doesn't, it doesn't exist in your mind. You have to think of yourself as wealthy, prosperous, abundant, well able, accomplished, successful. And that is what I want for you. So if you guys find purpose in this video, I would love to see if you guys can comment down below. It really does help my confidence and know that I'm doing the right thing and I'm actually helping you guys become better in life. And if you guys want um, monthly coaching for me, go ahead and join the email community down below and I will see you guys in the next one as well. If you guys want to go ahead and support my journey to Formus Global USA, go ahead and donate uh, to the PayPal link.